From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Over the past six months, it's really just been a stretch of really dry weather, followed by really wet weather, then dry again, and then back to really wet. Can't guarantee we stay completely dry over the next couple of weeks, but we do get a break from the traffic. Unfortunately, still a couple weeks left in September, all of October, and we know we're going to have more disturbances. Gordon has fizzled out for now, could redevelop over the next couple of days, but that's an area we'll be watching as we end the month of September and head in October. We're also going to be watching down in the Caribbean Gulf of Mexico because there are signals for a window of development, and if it develops, looks like it's going to head north. National Hurricane Center already highlighting kind of the path they think it would take. We're talking weeks in advance, so things can change, but we're just going to have to stay vigilant and watch whatever develops to our south closely, even if it develops several thousand miles to our south. We're going to have to watch it over the next five days. We're expecting rain chances to take a break tomorrow. Still some showers, but it will be drier for a lot of locations, even some sunshine as we head into Thursday. Rain returns and it's not going to be the heavy rain we had yesterday. It's going to be similar to what we had today, unless you're on the Crystal Coast talking about the hit or miss showers. Uh, tropical downpours, but not necessarily resulting in flash flooding like we saw early this morning or last night. Friday looks nice, and then we start to see another coastal low develop, this time to our north, and that's going to bring in lower humidity, cooler air, and some breezy to strong winds. So the water may be a little choppy, may not be the best fishing forecast or boating forecast as we head into the weekend. Still dealing with some flash flooding to the northeast. You go down to the Crystal Coast, they are sunny and dry, and thankfully, because Beaufort, or Beaufort and Carteret County picked up anywhere from five five to six, maybe even seven inches since midnight. That's on top of what they got yesterday and the days prior all the way back to Friday. So uh, that's why the flash flooding warning flash flood warnings continued into this morning. Still some rain in northern Pitt County stretching all the way back to Rocky Mount. Most of these are pretty light, but they're kind of hitting the same areas. So could maybe a little bit of standing water, but shouldn't be a big deal. The shower that has been near Mary Hill and Edenton has left the area and still just seeing very heavy rainfall on Highway 12 towards Duck, Corral, and even portions of Highway 158. That's all part of the same low that we've been tracking. But notice tonight we kind of quiet down a little bit. Most of that heavier rain goes north, and then the low is going to be all the way back here. But notice it starts to head east again, and that's going to develop more showers late Wednesday into Wednesday night. And then Thursday, we're expecting the rain to kind of be right on top of us. Broken, scattered showers and thunderstorms, but still more heavy rain for some areas. And you're going to start to notice the influence of everything moving due south. That's going to be that next low developing up near New, New England. That's going to be sending us our breezy conditions, but also sending us low humidity, cooler temperatures as well. Very nice outside right now. For most of us, there are some spots still dealing with rain, but just nice to see blue skies for a good chunk of the area to end the day. 70s and 80s, but still very humid thanks to all the water that's fallen and all the humidity still in the air. So going to stay humid tonight. Scattered showers should end over the next hour or so. Not a big chance through the overnight hours. And then as we head into the next couple of days, we're going to be dealing with higher rain chances heading into Thursday and then the mention of a few showers Friday, Saturday and Sunday. If we get a day that's maybe a little more overcast and wet again, could be Sunday as uh, most of the winds start to pick up from that other coastal low that's going to be to our north. I'm tired of saying coastal low, I'm tired <laughs> of saying low rain, all those words. I. It'd and hurricane nice season. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, that's still going on for a while, so we yeah. got to continue to Can't monitor stop. all that, right? We do. So just yeah. be vigilant, and we know we'll probably see at least another storm or mm -hmm. two this season. All right. Thanks, Zach.